Hello, my name is Christina with Small Dance Day World. Today, I'm going to give you a tour of this 2019 Ford Transit High Road. It has 40,000 miles and it is for sale. We have built three unique features in this van that we have never seen in a van build before. So we're really excited to show you that. But first, we're gonna move on to the exterior of the van. As you can see from the exterior of the van, it is a standard 148 van. However, we did make some upgrades to the van itself. We have tinted the windows. We have upgraded the tires for a more beefier, adventurous look. And back over here, we have added another window over here. We have limo tints on the rear windows. Up on top, we have 300 watt solar and a Dometic Fantastic fan, along with a low profile roof rack. Now, let's meet Nevaeh. walk into the van you have two light switches. One is for the front half of the van and the other is for the back of the van. Behind me you have two hooks for hanging your jackets or drying off your towels. And then over here you have the overhead storage. This is where we keep our window covers or any item. We have window covers for all of the windows in this van. These are handmade and custom made by me. Now one of the unique features that we have built in the van is right over here. Simply unlatch, pull this handle, unfold, and you have a full length mirror. Not only that, but it blocks off the front of the cab for privacy and temperature control. Speaking of temperature control, we have the thermometer right here. It shows the temperature from the outside and inside of the van. It's super helpful when you wake up in the morning and you want to know what the temperature it is outside. Now moving on to the kitchen. We have a two burner cooktop right over here. We have the sink with a soap dispenser, a faucet, and reverse osmosis drinking water, which is another unique feature that we have included in this van build. Up here we have additional storage for food and here as well. And moving down, we have a big deep drawer for your pots and pans, bowls and plates. Next to it, we have another drawer with a little built-in drawer for your silverware. And here you can keep your other utensils or cups and mugs. Over here, we have additional storage underneath the sink. Here we keep the paper towels, a drying rack and other items as well. In this drawer, we keep our garbage and other items as well. Over here, we have a 12 volt Dometic fridge and freezer. One of my favorite features in this kitchen is this countertop extension. Simply unlatch and pull down and you have extra countertop space in your kitchen. Also, you have a built-in shelf unit right over here where you can keep your toiletries or spices. Now, let's move back to the back half of the van. And here is your dining area. But first, I want to show you some hidden storage that we have included here. First is right over here. Remove all the cushions and lift up the seat. And there's ample storage for shoes or any items. Right over here is where we keep the Nature's Head composting toilet. Lift up the lid and do your business. This section of the van functions as a two-person dinette. Over here, we have the mound for the lagoon table, which we store right behind the driver's side. And there you have it. A place where you can eat or have additional storage for your kitchen or swing this out in the back and you have a table for your drinks. And here is the sleeping area. We have a six inch memory foam mattress, which is super comfortable and the length is six feet. On both sides, we have built-in stores where you can keep your phone, books, or any other electronics. 
Up here, we have two upper cabinets for his and hers closet. Right above me, we have the Dometic Fantastic Fan, which we have the remote right over here, right next to the bed, so you have easy access. Now, Daniel is going to give you the rundown of the systems in this van. All right, hi, I'm Daniel, and back at it again with showing you the systems for our water, our electrical, heating, and etc. So since we're right here, you're gonna notice a few things regarding electrical. We have some fans in the back that helps circulate the air in the van. Once the fan is open and then the window is open at the kitchen, you get a really nice breeze coming through there. Right over here, conveniently located, are some switches. And the first one is the water pump. The second one is the water tank gauge. We have 20 gallons of fresh water and that's undermounted under the van and then a few more gauges for heat pads and et cetera. Inside of this lovely cabinet is some very cool stuff that shows you what's going on with your solar and your power consumption. So starting from the top, you get to see exactly how much solar you're producing, how much DC amperage you're using. This is your switch for your inverter. This is your fresh water tank gauge. And then this meter right here shows how much power you have in your battery. The electrical system includes 300 watts of solar on the roof in the front section of the roof, 300 amp hours of lithium batteries, and we have alternator charging, and then we have shore power hookup. Located close to the kitchen and easily accessible is a switch right here that powers your electric hot water heater. I'm gonna get more into the plumbing once we get in the back of the van. And welcome to the garage. So first thing you'll notice, the back doors are insulated and finished off. We have window covers for all of the windows, like Christina mentioned, with magnets that hold them in place. On this side, you're gonna see you have outlets for charging devices and also USB ports. Right here, you're gonna have your water fill. This is a gravity fill, so you just put your garden hose in there and that fills the 20 gallons of fresh water underneath the van. And then right here, you're gonna notice a very cool outdoor shower. This is great for washing off your bike or when you're coming from the beach, or you can hang it on the door and also take a shower. And then looking on this side, a few less items, but you have again, USB ports, 120 volt outlets, and then down here, a couple other items. This is where you can have your short power hookup and that charges your battery. And then flipping this switch, you can turn all of your outlets inside of the van to run off of your shore power hookup. So Christina already mentioned to you guys the platform bed. The cool thing about this platform bed, it was made to actually be removed. And that's one thing that I wanna show you guys is what I call the work mode, where I can remove the bed and a few other items that allows for ample space to store items, to transport items, and as a matter of fact, even to transport full four by eight sheets of plywood. What you'll notice is these toe kicks are built very deep. And from here to there, is over four feet and then with the toilet removed it goes eight feet deep so you can put a full sheet when you're building your other vans in the lower cabinets right here on both sides you have a bunch of storage additional storage alongside with being able to store items right underneath the bed when we have the mattress out we're going to show you where the electrical is located and also all the plumbing <music> So in work mode, what you're gonna notice is you still have full access to the kitchen. So if you still wanna be able to cook or use a sink, you can do that. There's a lot more space up here as well for storing and hauling certain items. So looking from the front to the back, again, the bed platform is gone. You can have access to the cabinets up here, access to here. You can have better access to the plumbing for maintenance, electrical right here as well. And then you'll notice the toilet seat being gone and then access to some wiring. You can even see insulation and stuff down there. So since we're back here, let's dive into the plumbing and the electrical and describe what we have here. Inside of this cabinet, it's packed full of plumbing supplies. Right here is your electric hot water heater, your reverse osmosis system so that you can have filtered water wherever you go, and then a larger accumulating tank so that your water pump doesn't start as often. And then back there is the water pump as well. Everything is plumbed in PEX. So you have hot water, cold water, going to the front sink and to the back shower. Regarding the fresh water hookup, we have 20 gallons worth of fresh water. 
we have a 18 gallon tank of the gray water that has a electric dump valve so that you never have to touch any dirty water. You can dump it directly from the valve. Now let's dive into the electrical. Inside of this cabinet, we have one very large 300 amp hour lithium battery and a 2000 watt Renergy pure sine wave inverter. The inverter powers the four household outlets throughout the van. And then you have a 40 amp MPPT solar charger. There's a quick disconnect for shutting power to the whole system, a breaker, a 15 amp breaker for all of the outlets, and then other breakers and safety features built into the system. Two more items that I wanna mention is a diesel heater and the propane stovetop. You have a two burner stovetop right here. A five pound undermount propane tank is what supplies this. I also built this so that it can easily be converted to a 120 induction cooktop since there's an outlet built inside of the cabinet. Along with that is a diesel heater that we have underneath the passenger seat. All right, that is it for this van tour. If you are interested in purchasing this van, please visit our website at smallvansbigworld.com and you will find the for sale tab and you will see Nevaeh's details list. And if the van is already sold and it's not on our website, we do look forward to still working with you and being able to build your next custom home. Fill out the form submission and we can be in touch that way. We're looking forward to building our next van. That's why we're selling this one. So that's another thing that we're excited to keep you updated on as we build our next van. If you like videos like these, please consider subscribing to us and leaving a comment down below, liking our videos. It really helps out and means a lot to us. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. If you like fans, just follow us, subscribe us. Just subscribe.